This podcast is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania Super Deal. The store's biggest dollar discount ever. The Super Deal saves you $450 for every window purchase and $900 on every patio and entry door. To learn more about this deal, visit rbacentralpadeals.com or call 717-727-7558. The Super Deal ends May 31st. The Philadelphia Inquirer suffered a cyber attack over the weekend. In Mon Valley, a lawsuit against U.S. Steel has been certified. Millions of birds will fly over the state in the coming weeks. Also, one Pennsylvanian city is one of the best for basketball fans, and another, the worst. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in a PA. The Philadelphia Inquirer suffered a cyber attack over the weekend, reports the Associated Press. It was Saturday morning when a few employees noticed the paper's content management system, what publications used to publish articles, wasn't working. Further investigation found, quote, anomalous activity on select computer systems, unquote, prompting the Inquirer to contact the FBI. The Sunday edition failed to get published. Employees were told they wouldn't be allowed to use offices until at least today. And the attack, which is still under investigation, is now the biggest ever disruption to the newspaper since a massive blizzard in 1996. This remains a developing story. Mon Valley residents filed multiple nuisance claims against U.S. Steel, reports the Tribune Review. Allegheny County Court Judge Philip Agnelsi has certified those claims as a class action lawsuit as of this past Friday. The suit, which is looking for compensation, claims a 2018 gas field fire burned for about two hours at U.S. Steel's Claritin Coke Works, causing those in the area to suffer from various ailments including headaches and nausea. U.S. Steel, according to the suit, could have prevented the fire, which allegedly originated from a series of mechanical failures resulting from long-term corrosion and inadequate maintenance. Says U.S. Steel spokeswoman Amanda Malkowski in response to the suit, quote, Environmental stewardship is a core value at U.S. Steel, and we remain committed to the safety of our employees and the communities where we live and work. Millions of birds will fly over Pennsylvania in the coming weeks, states the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Over 255,000 of them flew over the state yesterday, as a matter of fact, according to online migration tracker BirdCast. Those unseasonably cold days we had last month kept these guys from migrating for a couple of weeks, but now they're returning back from the south. Among the species you can expect to see in flight are the chestnut-sided warbler and the American red start. One city in Pennsylvania is among the top five best for basketball fans, and another, the worst, says PennLive. Wild Hub ranks 296 of the U.S.'s most populated cities across their NBA and NCAA divisions based on metrics like team performance and fan engagement. Philadelphia claimed the fourth overall spot, actually getting bumped up from its ranking last year. However, Bethlehem did the opposite and dropped lower down to the 291st spot. At least that's still better than New Britain, Connecticut, which got that 296th ranking. And that is all for today. Just as a heads up, I'm actually doing another special interview episode this Thursday evening with John Lucy on his new series about the Ellen Greenberg case, so be sure to keep an eye out for more information on that. Also, please remember to rate this podcast and feel free to shoot me an email at todayinpa at penlive.com for any comments you may have. Thanks in advance, and as always, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll see you tomorrow for more Today in a PA. This podcast is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania Super Deal. The store's biggest dollar discount ever. The Super Deal saves you $450 for every window purchase and $900 on every patio and entry door. To learn more about this deal, visit rbacentralpadeals.com or call 717-727-7558. The Super Deal ends May 31st.